here they are for one and all The moments are about to call Come on and sit down here with me They're here for you on your TV They are the moments They are the moments So come with me, give me your hand I'll take you up to moving land You can fly just like a bird And sing the best song ever heard There were the moments 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 The seeds that Moomin and his friends had found in a box that had been cast up on the beach had grown into a tropical forest. It was beautiful, but also dangerous, with man-eating plants kept at bay by Snufkin playing his harmonica. But for how long? Snufkin, don't stop playing your harmonica, whatever you do. They'll only get angry and attack us all over again. If I don't stop soon, I might never want to play again. Well, perhaps the music has made them more friendly. Well, be careful, Mr. Hemelin. Oh, don't worry. Make sure the trap door won't open again. Ah, yes. What's this about a trap door? In the kitchen. They almost got in before and attacked Mama. We reached her just in time. Ah, oh, there they are. I feel sorry for them. It can't be helped, Snufkin. If we let them out, we'll be eaten alive. It makes me feel very uncomfortable having man-eating plants under the floor. Always keep a kettle of boiling water handy in case they break through. The children are playing Tarzan. <laughs> they might as well, seeing as they've got a jungle to play in. Still, planting those seeds might have been a terrible mistake. Well, Mama, I'm very glad that you did. Just think what I would have missed. And Moomin Valley suddenly being full of tropical plants is wonderful. I'm not fond of traveling, as you know. And you've brought the plants to me. Well, the trees make it much cooler. But those man-eaters, I could do without them. Just like Tarzan. 
Tarzan loves Jane. Oh, what bliss! I... Yeah. Stinky's over there. Stinky? Tarzan teach old baddies lesson. Yaha! Pretty stupid moment playing Tarzan without wild well, animals. animals don't come from seeds. No, but you need them to have a real jungle. I can get you some if you want. Really? I'll do anything for my friends. That's very kind of you. Not too wild, though. No lions or tigers or anything. Maybe a baby chimpanzee. I know exactly what you need. <laughs> Cheese. Bread. Ah. What are you doing, Mama? Well, I don't like the thought of all those man-eaters still in the cellar. So your father and I are going to sleep in the bathhouse. We'll sleep outdoors, too. We've just built ourselves a hut. Snork Maiden and Little Mai, too. Well, yes, there's plenty of room. Oh, right. So that only leaves Mr. Hemulin sleeping in the house. And he's still busy checking all the different plants. Mama, is everything ready? Oh, yes, dear. Oh, off already. Yes, we are, Mr. Hemulin. See you later. Stinky said he could get some wild animals, Papa. Wherever from? I don't know. I wouldn't trust him. He'll probably put a hedgehog in your sleeping bag. There it is, the hut. Oh, oh very well built. <laughs> yeah. It's a wonderful place. You'll love it. A real tropical jungle. Are you sure? It's quite nice here. Of course I am. There you are. Oh. to run free. Darling, let's be the first to get to Moomin Valley. Soon I'll have the largest collection in the botanic world, and I will be famous, and people will come from all over. Now, what have we here? Go away, I'm not a zoologist. Look, Moomin, those must be the monkeys Stinky promised well, us. Well, that's a surprise. Not like him at all. I just don't trust him. <laughs> what sweet things. Just like in Tarzan. Oh, what was that? I don't know. That sounds like some really wild animal. A lion or a tiger. I'm frightened, Moomin. Huh? Very odd. Just like home, isn't it? Even if it isn't very big. Perhaps we could live here. Let's go hunting first. I smell Moomin's. <laughs> Oh, be careful, darling. You're very out of practice. Uh -huh. I must warn them. Oh. See anything? No. 
not a thing. It must have been imagination. Moomin! <laughs> Keep quiet! Little Moy! I've just seen some tigers. They're coming to get you! Tigers? Let's get back to the house quick! There's no time. They're nearly here. We'll go to the bathhouse. Shall we eat him up? You know that Hemulens upset your tummy, dearest. I wonder where the Moomins are. Huh? Oh, just more animals, that's all. What's the matter, Moomin? Little Mai has seen two tigers and they're looking for tigers us. Tigers after us? That rotten stinky probably told them that we're good to eat or something. Maybe we are. They'll be here in a minute. Right, Moomin, you go and find the biggest stone you can and bring it back with you. Okay. This way. Papa, will this one do? Yes, that's perfect. Right, get into the bathhouse, Nick. Quickly now. Here they come. <gasps> Are you really going to eat them, dearest? Of course, my love. You see, I think they're hiding in that little house up there. They're being very quiet if they are. Huh. They're just too scared to move, that's all. Why's that stone there? Well, of course, Moomin. My husband is drowning. Oh, I'm so sorry. Papa, we must help. Uh, he was just about to try and eat us, Mama. I'm sure he won't do it again. <sighs> I suppose so, Moomin. Thought I'd see the day. Moomin's rescuing a tiger. <laughs> Here you are, dear. Tie this tightly around him and we'll lift him out. Thank you, Mama. <laughs> drowning and they rescued you. Oh, how embarrassing. Well, they're in that cabin behind you if you still feel hungry, but it was rather good of them to save you. No, my appetite's completely gone. Well, come back here then and we'll go. I'll just jump over. <laughs> oh. What's the matter? I can't remember how to jump. We've been stuck in that zoo for too long. Well, try and swim across, dearest. Okay. Hmm? 
Wake up, everyone. The tigers are leaving. I'm glad he didn't growl. I knew they wouldn't be mean enough to eat us after saving him. Uh, shall we jump in and swim back as well? It's not far. Yes. I'll go first. I want to go first. Don't, little Mai. Be careful, Moomin. Look over there. Crocodiles. Oh, hurry up, Moomin. Swim around the back and come up the ladder. Crocodiles in the sea. I thought they only lived in fresh water. How are we going to get back to the shore now? We'll have to wait for a boat to come past. No, I'm afraid we'll have to think of something else, Mama. We could uh, be waiting for a week or so for that to happen. A whole week? But we'll starve. All they'll find is our bones bleached white in the sun. Don't worry, little Mai. Papa will think of something. You'll see. Good morning. Snufkin, what a relief. I was going to go sea fishing, but I changed my mind. I didn't fancy landing a sea monster. Help! Someone help! Help anybody! That's Mr. Hemulin. Oh, the tigers must be after him quickly. so cross. I just told you not to eat my plants. Help! Please, someone, anyone, help! Ah, ah, help! Ah, ah, let me in! Ah, 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 ah. That fella's always been clumsy. We can't really help him. No. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, oh, are you all right, Hemulin? Oh, dear, I think so. What about him? Oh, dear. What do you do when a rhino gets stuck in your veranda? Oh, this is a new one on me. So I'm loose. I can't think of any other way. You have to be very careful, though. Oh, I think you're right. God, look where you're going. It was you who brought all the animals in, wasn't it? Yes, you're right. That's what you wanted. It's a jungle now. I did a good job. Oh, really? Well, they're not wild animals at all. They're quite friendly. Friendly? See what I mean? They make very good pets. Cute, aren't they? Uh... Snake! Oh, Snake, where are you? What do you want? The rhino and the tigers have become pets of the Moomin family. You're not gonna let that happen to you. Well, are you? Of course not. I'll bring Snork Maiden and Moomin here tonight. There's no need to eat all of them. Just bite off their tails, all right? Okay. You'll be really amazed, like I was. It's big enough for both of you to sit on. How lovely. A giant water lily. I wonder if the seeds came from that box you all found. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Looking at the size of the jungle, there must have been an awful lot of seeds in that box. I suppose the wind could have blown them anywhere. Where's the giant water lily? Uh, let's see now. Uh, uh, over there. Oh. How wonderful. You see, I wish you'd learn to trust me. I'm a very honest guy. 
It's so soft and pink and beautiful. <laughs> How romantic to be on a boat made from a flower. This is unbelievable. Our old bog seems to have grown into a tropical swamp. It's a lot nicer. Hey, Stinky! Stinky! Oh. I can't see him anywhere. I wonder how far we'll float. It's getting dark, Moomin. <laughs> We must get away! Where? I don't know yet. Look, there's the sea. But the crocodiles. Over there, Snark made a, a boat. Well, it's the only way we'll get away from this monster. Moomin and Snork Maiden kept swimming as fast as they could. They had a head start on the snake, but now he was catching up. Even though Moomins are very good swimmers, unfortunately for them, so are snakes.